Hello fellow StarCraft 2 players. Uh, what we're going to look at here is the Path of Ascension, which is the Protoss single player challenge. Essentially you have three different paths. Uh, one is going to contain Hellions, uh, one is going to contain Marines, and one has a small group of Marauders. You are given a group of Zealots, a group of Stalkers, and a l uh, somewhat large group of Colossi. You are also given a Sentry, which of course you want to use for your uh, specialized powers. First of all, we're going to line the Stalkers up here at the top for the Hellions. They're going to be the best unit to fight uh, this particular Terran unit. Uh, you'll notice that I line the Stalkers up uh, near the wall. You cannot pass that green area. Uh, on the Colossi versus the Marines, I'm going to utilize this high ground here, of course. Um, it's going to really help out in terms of range um, and the amount of damage that I take. Um, it's also going to kind of serve to bait in the Marines to that one corner as opposed to just spreading my colossi out and having them take more damage. I'm over here on the marauders. I'm going to group as close as possible to the front of this with the uh, sentry in the middle. Um, obviously this is going to so be so that the guardian shield is going to protect the units as much as possible. Um, you definitely want to have that there. Um, the first thing you're going to do is the hellions. Once you start the round, just move your stalkers in position. Um, as soon as you see a stalker begin to take damage, blink it backwards or up into that high ground section. Um, just keep an eye on how much damage you're taking. Obviously don't let your damage units get back too close if you don't blink them far enough away. Um, and the rest of the stalkers are going to continue to do damage. Uh, and you'll finish that round no problem. Uh, didn't you lose a single unit there. On the marines here, you'll see that the colossi immediately start firing. Um, it's best to have them on hold, obviously, so they don't chase any Marines. Um, and you'll see the one on top begins to take a bit of damage, so I kind of retreat him a bit just so he doesn't continue to take too much damage and ultimately get destroyed. Here on the Marauders, uh, first thing I'm going to do is spawn an Archon Hallucination, then switch to Guardian Shield. Uh, right here I actually missed Micro. I should have moved my sentry forward a bit sooner so that all the Zealots are covered. Um, I actually still did not lose a unit, fortunately, in this case. That's the first round. There are three rounds, a total of nine groupings of units you're going to have to fight. In round two, you're going up against Thors. Uh, you're given a group of carriers, which are going to be the best unit to attack them. You're also going up against a group of siege tanks, which do have siege mode enabled. Uh, that is a bit tricky on this particular round. And a group of battle cruisers, which are down at the bottom. Um, You'll notice that I line the carriers up close to the Thors. This is because the Thors actually have a range advantage over the carriers. Uh, the Thors range, I believe, is 10. Carriers are only 8. So the carriers are immediately going to have to move forward to do damage to the Thors. Uh, the Immortals here I'm going to line up um, just basically so they have a ability to get as, to the siege tanks as quickly as possible. Up here at the bottom, down here at the bottom, uh, Void Rays, we're going to group those together, and I'm also given a High Templar. First of all, with the Carriers, again, your damage bar should be on. This is going to be the easiest way to tell what you need to retreat, how soon. Um, you'll notice the one on the right begins to get into the yellow, immediately pull him back. Um, of course, the Thors are not going to follow because they're still being attacked. Uh, again, the one on the right begins to take some damage, so I'll pull him back as well. Um, by this point, you can pretty much go ahead and move those two back into battle so far as they stay far enough away. Um, I begin to pull back a little bit. I wasn't really sure how many were left there. Uh, you obviously don't want to lose any units. That last Thor is going to fall pretty easily, and you'll notice that most of my units are still in fairly good health. Here on the siege tanks, again, they do have siege mode, so you need to get to them as quickly as possible. Um, specifically target one unit, pull forward, target a unit, pull forward. That's You just need to repeat that process over and over so you're constantly within range of all the units and you can do as much damage as possible. Um, in this particular instance, I only lost one unit, one immortal there. On the Void Rays, what you're going to do is target attack and queue up your attacks to each battle cruiser. Then bring your uh, High Templar over, use feedback on all three units and retreat with him. Then retreat with each Void Ray as it takes damage. Once the Void Rays charge off the first unit, the second two units go down almost instantly. I did not lose a single unit there either. So far in the first two rounds, the first six sets of units, I've only lost one, uh, one of my units. On the last round here, uh, things get a bit trickier. You do get more units, um, but there is a 
a lot better mix of Terran units to go up against. Um, first of all, at the top, we're going to base, face uh, some battle cruisers, I believe, and or a single battle cruiser and a group of Vikings. For that, I'm going to use the Stalkers, the Phoenix, and uh, my single High Templar, obviously, to use feedback on the battle cruiser. Uh, here in the middle, uh, we're against a group of Hellions and Marines. Again, obviously, we'll want to use the Colossi because of the splash damage. Um, again, I'm going to utilize this high ground advantage. This is extraordinarily useful. With the Archons, basically we're going to use them as bait. Um, because they have such a high shield capacity and they're able to take so much damage, we'll put them down here in front of the Colossi to bait them in. Here we have Marauders and Siege Tanks. They are extraordinarily powerful I as a group and extremely difficult to go up against. Um, I'm going to pull my sentry down here again, much like I did before. Um, and again, pull as close to the green sphere as possible. And that's going to be just to immediately begin attacking, do as much damage as possible before those tanks have a chance to siege up. Here versus the Vikings and the battle cruiser. The Vikings, of course, have a speed advantage, so they're going to get to you before the battle cruiser does. And because they're going against the ground unit, they automatically switch into assault mode. That enables your Phoenix to come up. Um, of course, you're using feedback as well. That enables your Phoenix to come up and finish off the battle cruiser, who's been feedback. I did lose a single unit there, a stalker. On this particular level, basically pull your Archons forward so that they kind of bait in the other units. Um, again, they're not going to take very much damage because the Archons are basically walking tanks. Um, the Colossi are going to ba basically do most of the attacking there. Now, on this one, I actually do a bit of Miss Micro. Um, unfortunately, I did not control my Zealots nor my Sentry as much as I should have. The Zealots should be finishing off the Marauders while you get the Immortals in position to take care of the tanks. I actually lost either all or nearly all of my Zealots here. However, for this round I lost a total of 8 units. My total was 9 units and that is a gold award. Hope this helps you guys out. Hope you enjoy. Uh, if you need to, please subscribe. Look forward to spending some more time helping you guys out with your StarCraft game. Thanks.